Good morning, day nine. It uh, is Monday, my day off, and I have some plans. I'm gonna, I need to record um, two more videos and get them edited so that my next three days of work, I don't have to worry about those videos. Um, so that is on the plan for today. It's not supposed to be a spectacular day out, but we'll see. I would love to go to an antique store today. Not quite sure if that's going to happen either. But right now, <laughs> I want to see if I can get up um, this garland thing that I did last year. So let me show you what I'm working with. Okay, so this here is our front entry and you might be like, Jan, that looks crazy. So what had happened was um, we took down all the wallpaper and we spied underneath the uh, carpet on the stairs here. And we did that, I'm gonna say in August. And I was planning to do it. It was my thing to do. Jeanette was gonna help. Um, we had some parts of the walls that needed to be repaired. And then I became unwell and I couldn't do it. So we've been living with it like this. I'm feeling much, much better. So my goal is that I do have some time off um, after Christmas. So my goal is to tackle that. That there is Gary. That is the fake garland that I want to put up. And he loves chewing fake garland and fake trees. That's why we have a real tree. It's because of you. Gary, what are you doing? Nothing. Okay, so this here garland and stuff, I want to put up here and then be able to use it for like um, pinning our cards so that we have somewhere for our cards to be displayed. So that is the goal. Let's see if I can get it done. I think it's kind of cute this year and it'll get very adorable once we get more cards to fill it. So it just kind of, these are antique decoration-y things, this here string. Ooh. And then it comes with these little clips and the clips just go on to the cards. So, yeah, I thought that was fun. Also, the people that um, wallpapered this house before actually signed it. I love that. They, they took such pride in their work. So this guy, uh, wallpapered it in 1956 and then it was re-wallpapered in 1970. So, yeah. I can't wait to do this. And we already have the runner. It's going to look great. Okay. <laughs> okay, everybody. <laughs> so I got the garland up and a couple of our Christmas cards up and I'm attempting to be productive today. We'll see how far and how well I do with the production today. <laughs> I have my list of what I want to get done, which I find is very helpful for me. So hopefully that helps. Here we have our new box. I'm so excited about this. I And I'm glad to hear that some other people are excited about the magnetic box too and that it's not just me. I love a good magnetic box. Isn't it pretty? So this here. So remember this box, we're gonna fill up as much as we can. And now we have more space. I picked this up at a local market and I'm going to throw it in. I haven't tried it, so I can't speak to that, but I love supporting the um, local people that make things. So this is Fog Tree Forest and she called it the best one. She said it's her favorite. So it's a whole packet in the box. And 
And right now, I think it's time to get into some Fortnums. See if I can find a tea to drink for this morning. Today is day nine, nine, nine. Nine. Fingers. What do we got? Earl Grey. <laughs> yes, please. Mmm. So Earl Grey is definitely my go-to favorite tea. Uh, I love Bergamot, <laughs> but I did realize that there is a fine line for the Bergamot love. I purchased double bergamot and I think it was Stash that made it and it's good. I do enjoy it, but I think that the just regular, a good Earl Grey is just delightful. So, okay, I'm going to brew this one up. I'm going to finish going through my list of what I want to accomplish today and try to figure out an order and how I'm going to get that done. <laughs> so. Stay tuned. One kitty. Hi, peeps. Two kitties. Hi, Care Bear. Gary. Gary. Hi. So pretty. Look at that box. <laughs> I'm so dorky. That is delicious. This teacup is one of my Ainsley's. This is the bonbon that I got from the farmer's market on the weekend. So cute, I can't wait. And yeah, we're using our little pink saddler. This is the box. It's the magnetic. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, enough relaxing time. That delicious. It was a gingerbread, amazing bonbon thing. And this here, Earl Grey from Fortnum's, it was perfect. It was exactly what I needed. So yeah. Now I think I need to go and get uh, a couple of the David's Tea Reviews done. Excuse me, that's great. I'm sure when I die, Janelle will watch that. Be like, oh, she's classy. That's my classy lady. <laughs> Yeah, so like I was saying, I do need to go get uh, something done. So if I'm not going to completely freak out over these next three days that I have to work and it's just uh, a lot of hours to put in, um, yeah, I need to get those videos done. So that's exciting. Uh, I need to find my energy. And I think that Earl Grey gave it to me so I can go into my studio and record those. So let's go do that. Okay, so Joanna had mentioned down in the comments, um, she liked the teeny weeny little tour that I gave and she mentioned the kitchen island and how she liked it because it was, you know, a perfect small size and that that's what she was looking for. So I just wanted to take a moment to show you guys because I actually made this kind of with some help from Ikea maybe. <laughs> Let me turn the camera around so I can kind of point and talk. Okay, so this is the island that she was talking about. That's Phoebe. Tika, tika, tika. She's so tiny and little. So as you can see, it has drawers, it has a metal top, and it hangs over. So if we look at it from this angle, you can see how it hangs over so that you can actually um, sit in underneath it type thing. So when you're actually looking at it closer, this here is a dresser I got from Ikea. 
and I love it because the drawers pull out. So when I got it from Ikea, this is how you would have opened the drawers. I then went and purchased these big long metal drawer pulls because I wanted that look for it to like, see, match the rest of our drawer pulls. And then, so I made a base for it. Um, so you can see here, I used like two by four and I framed it all up and made a base. And then I basically, I had this custom fabricated. I knew what size I wanted it and I wanted it to hang over a bit. So I had the metal fabricated from a metal place because I didn't want, I don't know, I wanted metal. And then I filled it with MDF. So it's just MDF board that thick. So whatever thickness that is. And then glued the top of it. It is extremely heavy. These are little island chairs for it, but it is the perfect size. It is exactly the size that I wanted it to be. And it is the function that I wanted it to be. So I wanted to have drawers here. We use one for coffee and stuff. So Jeanette, this is the type of coffee that she drinks every day. And if I do have coffee, I'll have a French press. It goes in these handy dandy ones. Yeah, so that's where that stuff is. But it's perfect because it's big. So that is that tidbit. And I don't even know what size our kitchen is. So Joanna, I hope that helped. And I know I do have a few more questions that I've actually marked down from people's questions or comments that I will eventually get to. I just thought that was a quick and easy one for today. If you do have any questions or if you see something and you want to see it more or you're wondering where I got it or anything like that, just let me know. Leave a comment down below. Happy to chat with you guys. Okay, so time for me. And remember, clock is broken. <laughs> time for me to make my homemade granola. I got the Christmas cards mailed. I think Jeanette will be pleased with me. Chores done. And um, yeah, homemade granola time now. So let's get started on that. Okay, <laughs> just made uh, granola and I don't know if you noticed, I was doing a time lapse, so we'll see what you see. I slapped it all over the cupboard. Uh-huh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I'm gonna clean that up. Okay, I'll leave the recipe if you are interested. It is a super easy recipe. I usually do it once a week and I just hadn't for the past little bit. Um, but yeah, super easy. And I am gonna address the, somebody had asked how to make your homemade uh, vanilla, which is what this is in this weird jar. <laughs> so I will address that as well. Uh, yeah, so it's super, super easy. It's just gonna be in the oven now for 45 minutes. I just have to stir it every 15 and then it's done and it's ready. And we usually eat that every uh, morning with, what's that called? Yogurt, <laughs> vanilla yogurt. Here is the final product for the granola. It makes really nice granola. It's nice and crunchy and you just put it in a glass jar and you just keep it for a week or two. Also, the advent of kindness for Christopher Allen for day nine is to write three thank you notes to people you sometimes forget to thank. So we had a few people that we've been wanting to thank. Gonna do that now. So 
thank you, Christopher Allen, and your advent of kindness for reminding me to write these out. Okay. Okay, so final advent of the day. What day is today? Nine. Nine. Eight here. This here, my mom made. Isn't she pretty? Uh, I think two pigs and um, Fortnum's were in on something together here. Earl Grey Strong. I love that with the bulldog. That's so cute. All right. What does it say? Did you know by the mid 18th century, tea had leapfrogged gin to claim the title of Britain's favorite drink? I did not know that. Learn something new every day. So excited that we got two helpings of Earl Grey today in our advents. And uh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy the tree tonight and get this edited and uploaded. And I will see you in the comments. Talk to you later. Bye.